In this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to fix your iPhone if it's not turning on. And this might be due to various reasons such as for example having your iPhone stuck here on this battery screen when you connect your charger into your iPhone or you might be stuck here on the Apple boot loop or you might be facing a much complicated situation which is having your iPhone stuck at the black dead screen. Do not worry because in this video I'll show you all the possible solutions for your problem so you do not actually need to approach an Apple service center and spend a lot of money. There are many easy steps that you can actually perform on your own in order to see if you can fix your iPhone that doesn't turn on. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the channel. Two years back, I made a video on how to fix your iPhone that wouldn't charge and that video got me more than 2 million views, which is exactly the reason why I decided to make a new video in order to show you how to fix your iPhone if it's not turning on in order to help more and more people fixing their tech issues. The idea of this channel is to help you fixing your issues on your own so you do not need to spend a lot of money. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So here I am on my iPhone, in my case I've gotten here an iPhone 11, but regardless of your iPhone model, this tutorial should help you fixing the problem of your iPhone not turning on, okay? So jumping straight into the video in here, the very first thing we need to double check in here on step one is basically giving a look here on our iPhone chargers. Make sure you're not having a faulty iPhone charger or a damaged iPhone charger. In my case, I've gotten here two chargers so try the first one if it doesn't work switch to a different one and try a different one to see if your iPhone starts charging or turning on now during the testing phase try alternating the cables for example disconnect this cable and connect it into this socket and disconnect this cable and connect it into this socket of course that in my case in here I've got two different types of cable entrance this one is a USB and this is a type C but in case you've got the same USB entrance in here or the same type C in both of the USB cables you can actually try swapping them and connect it into different sockets it's also important to double check your sockets to see if they're working fine as well because it also happens that your socket can be damaged this is a very possible situation in here if replacing your charger or your cable didn't work fixing the problem that you've got we're gonna move straight into the second step in here so basically on step two we're gonna perform a forced restart here on our iPhone device now please note that the forced restart here is a procedure which is done differently depending on your iPhone model so if you've got an iPhone 7 or 7 plus all you need to do is just press and hold the power button along with the volume down button so if you've got an iPhone 7 or 7 plus press and hold both of them for like five to seven seconds until you see the Apple logo here on your screen so once you see the Apple logo here on your screen you're gonna release the buttons and then you're gonna let your phone turn on automatically now if you've got an iPhone 8 or later models if you've got an iPhone 8 an iPhone X an iPhone 11 just like mine an iPhone 12 13 14 15 you're gonna rapidly tap on volume up and then tap on volume down and then press and hold the power button this is how it goes one two and then press and hold the power button for like five to seven seconds until you see the apple logo on your screen so once you see the apple logo on your screen you're gonna release the button and let your phone turn on okay now if you've got an old iphone with the home button in here for example if you've got an iphone 5 an iphone 6 an iphone se something like that all you need to do is just press and hold the home button along with the power button which is usually located here at the top okay so you're gonna press and hold both of the buttons for five to seven seconds until you see the apple logo on your screen and once you see the apple logo you're gonna release both of the buttons and let your iphone turn on automatically so this was it for the step two and i hope this fixed your problem now if the step two didn't help you fixing the problem that you've got we're moving into the step number three okay so on step number three you're gonna need one toothpicks i'm gonna remove one toothpick real quick okay here we go i've got in here one toothpick and then we're going to be performing a few steps in here with this toothpick so what we'll be doing in here is we're going to grab our phone and we're going to clean our charging port right here because in most cases your iphone charging port 
gets a lot of lint and dust and this actually blocks the connection when you connect your charger into your iPhone and your iPhone stops charging. So in order to clean it, we're gonna insert the toothpick and make sure that it's only a toothpick because it shouldn't be a material made up of something else. It should be made up of wood and toothpick is the best thing you can use to clean, okay? So we're gonna insert it inside, pull it to the left and then take it out. Insert, go to the left, take it out. Insert, left, out. Insert, left, out. So you're gonna be performing this to remove as much dust and lint as possible from your charging port. So you're gonna perform this for like three minutes and then you're gonna flip your phone and perform the exact same movement but in the opposite direction, okay? You're gonna be doing this and you're gonna try to remove as much lint as possible from your charging port. I don't know if it's visible, but as you guys can see in here, we've got a dark area here at the corner, which is actually lint coming out of my charging port. This is actually a procedure that you need to perform every three to six months in order to clean your charging port, because it's very common that we've got dust stuck in here when we go outside walking, jogging, or simply being exposed to wind environments okay so this is something you need to do periodically and once you insert make sure you try to touch the end there's a wall at the end of the charging port so you want to make sure you touch that end and you remove as much lint as you can okay so this is a procedure that you need to do slowly slowly and gently now if this step didn't help you fixing your iphone and your iphone is simply still not turning on we're gonna move into the next step now in this step if you've got your iphone stuck here on this charging logo in here as soon as you connect your usb cable it means that it's not charging and consequently it won't turn on so if you are facing this situation right here what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna connect your charger and you're gonna leave your iphone charging for two hours continuously without touching your iPhone device. Obviously, you need to perform this step after trying all the first steps that I've showed to you previously in this video, okay? It's important to follow the sequence of the steps. So once you leave your phone charging for one to two hours and it still refuses to turn on, the problem might be on your battery and you need to get your battery replaced, okay? So in order to do this, I would recommend you to approach an Apple service center unless you know exactly what you're doing here because this is a very sensitive process of replacing your battery. Now, if your iPhone is simply stuck in here on the Apple logo, which is also known as the Apple boot loop, this is how this bug is known as, and it keeps on restarting and restarting, this most probably is a software issue and it's linked to your iPhone software. So in this case, unfortunately, I don't have good news. You'll have to restore your iPhone. And once you restore your iPhone, unfortunately, you're gonna lose all your data unless you had the backup made in your computer in order to restore it from, okay? iCloud backups also do work in this case and make sure you only perform this at last possibility after trying all the possibilities because in here, you're gonna lose your data. So in this case, we're gonna need a USB cable. We're gonna need a computer as well and we're gonna need to put our phone into DFU mode and in order to follow all these steps I've got a video that I've recorded showing all the detailed steps on how to actually restore your iPhone so just tap in the link in the description box below I've got a video showing you how you can actually restore your iPhone and fix the problem of having your iPhone stuck here on this screen so this was it for today guys thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and if you find my content useful here on youtube consider subscribing to the channel leave a comment down below and like the video by doing so you're actually helping my content to reach out to more people so that i can help more people here on youtube do not forget to let me know in the comment section down below which step actually helped you fixing your issue thanks for watching fixed by shack and i'll see you in the next one have a great day.